so I'm back. Uh, so far we have been to places uh, within walking distance from Junction 1, south from airport. Now we're going a bit further, uh, north from the airport. And to get to some of the places you would need to have some kind of transport. If you're comfortable with driving, you can rent a scooter, which is four or five hundred pesos per day. If not, your second option is hiring a tricycle, which is five, six hundred pesos per day. My first stop will be Hartman Beach, about four kilometers from here. So that's where I'm going now. The Harpen Beach, as I mentioned, it's about four kilometers from Junction One. Uh, if you come here by tricycle, it should cost you 60, 70 pesos to get here. And as you see, it's not good for swimming. I never seen anybody swim here. I don't know why would someone do that. But it's relaxing. Most of the time, you will be here alone, so it's really good for walking, sunbathing, taking cool pictures. And if you continue all the way all the way to the end of the beach you will get to BM Beach the most popular beach in town from here it's about 25 maybe 30 minutes walk and that's where I'm going now I'm going to BM Beach Just a small stopover on the way to PM Beach. This one here is Coliseum building. And if you're planning to travel to Sabang, this is the place where you would need to come to get your permit. Uh, it's about one kilometer north from, air, from the airport, so you can just walk or you can take a multi-cap, which is five, six pesos to get here. Okay, we continue to PM Beach. BM Beach, the best beach for parties in town. Uh, it's about six kilometers from Junction One, so by tricycle that would cost you 100 pesos. Also, you can come here from Hartman Beach, 25 minutes walk. At this point, it's nine o'clock in the morning, so everything is closed. But in the evening, there is a nice bar with pole dancers and good music. Also, you can rent a cottage for barbecues, which is 300 pesos. A little bit like an old game where you have to jump from island to island to pass to the next level. So that's, that's what I'm doing now to get to the sea. The sea is just here. 
as you see the beach is pretty much the same as Hartman Beach so it's not really good for swimming uh, but at high tide the water comes all the way up up to this level so I saw some children swimming here anyway next I'm going to the last beach for today the Emerald Beach Just one more small stopover. This one here is Robinson Mall. Uh, what's special about it? Nothing, it's just a mall. Except there is an immigration office on the second floor. So if you need to extend your visa, this is the place where you should come. The Emerald Beach. Actually, I came here only because it was mentioned in Vicky Travel, but it looks nice. I think during high tide it's really good to swim here, uh, but it's a bit far from the city. It's eight kilometers from Junction One, so if you don't have your own transport, uh, they will cost you 200 pesos to come here by tricycle. Also, they have entrance fee, which is 40 peso. But yeah, if you have free time, why not? Next, I'm going to visit uh, one crazy place called San Jose Bus Terminal and this is the last beach for today. So this one here is San Jose bus terminal and if you want to travel anywhere outside of Puerto Princesa this is where you should come. Uh, it's quite easy to get here, you can just get multic up from anywhere on Rizal Avenue or Runway Street and it should be 25 pesos to get here. Or you can get a tricycle which is 50 or 60 peso. Now you have two options, uh, you can take a bus which is slightly more expensive but way more comfortable or you can get a van which is cheaper but it's getting really really cramped inside because they're trying to put as many people as possible next i'm going to the butterfly garden it's not really far uh, about three kilometers from here.
the entrance to Butterfly Garden. You can come here by Multicap, just take Multicap from Rizal Avenue and stop at Bakers Hill Junction. It should cost you also 20 peso. Or you can come here by Tricycle, which should be 100 peso to get here. Let's go check it out. We call them Palau and Tribe, okay? Since 1976, this is already their temporary shelter and we organized them six years ago. They simply throw it from a distance and if it hits the target, the metal, ito yung metal niya, it will pierce through or get stuck because of the hook. They will hit the drawing on the board. So that was quite cool. The entrance is 50 peso uh, and it's absolutely worth it, especially the tribal village. If you saw the people are taking picture with the snake, which is 200 peso per picture. The next stop is Crocodile Farm. It's about three kilometers more to the south. So this one here is Crocodile Farm Entrance uh, or Wildlife Conservation Center, how they call it. About 9 kilometers from Junction 1. Uh, really easy to get here by Multicap. Just get Multicap from Rizal Avenue. It should be 25 peso to get here. Uh, the entrance ticket is 40 peso and I need to wait for other people to join the tour. This one is 17 feet, almost the same size of our skeleton and the lobby. Estimated 60 years old. Wow! When the crocodiles open their mouth, they just pull him off, releasing heat from their body. Ooh, then, if you want to explore more right side by our nature park, we have reptile house or python house, that exit is on the left side. Actually, it's quite cool here, even if you don't like crocodiles. Uh, they have quite a big park uh, on the back side of the crocodile farm. So it's really nice just to see some animals and relax.
so I have finished the crocodile farm tour it's it's quite nice you can see crocodiles quite close uh, small ones and big ones you, you can take pictures there is a nice park on the back side of the farm you can try crocodile barbecue uh, they're just saying they're buying meat from elsewhere but if I was a crocodile probably I would like to stay away Anyway, next stop is Baker's Hill and Mitra's Ranch. It's almost the same place as Butterfly Garden, so I'm going back to the city. This one's Baker's Hill entrance. Uh, the easy way to get here is just take a multi cab to Baker's Hill Junction, should be 15 peso, and then walk last two kilometers. Or take a tricycle from there, which is 50 peso. <laughs> if you decide to go by tricycle all the way from the city, uh, it should cost you 150 peso. So let's go inside and see what is there. Uh, basically, it used to be just a bakery, but they made a nice park out of it uh, with some animals like peacocks. Great spot for the whole family. <laughs> and just for taking pictures. Next, I'm going to meet this ranch about half a kilometer down the road. So this was Mitra's Ranch, uh, the last stop. Previously it was Palawan Governor's house, but now it's kind of open. You can go inside for 20 peso, or you can just enjoy the view of the Honda Bay. You can see the Honda Bay Islands there. Also here is a zip line, which is 500 peso. <laughs> So I'm going back to the city, hope I can get there before dark. So I'm back to the Baywalk and this is the end of the Puerto trip. As you see, you can easily spend here two, three days a week and you will still have things to do. Tomorrow I'm going to visit two more places that tourists usually don't go and I'm already preparing the next trip. So stay with us.
Remember I said there are two more things to see where tourists usually don't go? Well, this is one of the places. Uh, it's Puerto Yacht Club. Getting here without your own transport is a bit difficult. It's like four kilometers from Junction 1, so better take a tricycle, which should be 70 peso. Yeah, I just found how to rent a kayak, which is 50 peso per hour, so we'll do it now. So yeah, I got the kayak, which is really 50 peso per hour. So probably just go kayaking around Puerto Bay, maybe like one hour, two hours. So far, it seems really, really fun. got to the bay walk and it took me about 40 minutes kayaking from the yacht club uh, which was fun actually 50 pesos per hour really really good deal and it's probably one of the best things you can do if you stay in puerto and if you have time really nice to see the bay walk from different perspective and just go kayaking around all those fishing ships and the private yacht say hi to people Anyway, I'll try to go to, the, to a small island in the middle of the Puerto Bay. Not really at the middle, but still. We'll see how it goes. Almost in the middle of the Puerto Bay. I almost finished my trip back to Yacht Club. And yeah, it's definitely fun. I hit some rough sea on the way, so a bit exhausted at the moment. But it's so much, so much fun. If you just stick to shore, you will be totally fine. This is how the yacht club look like from, uh, from the seaside. So this one here is the second place which might be fun to visit. Palawan International Circuit. About six kilometers from Junction 1. Uh, actually we passed by uh, on the way to Crocodile Farm. Uh, the best way to get here is just go by Multicap, which should be like 20 peso. You can get a go-kart for 250 peso for five laps. It sounds fun. So I have done go-karting and it was absolutely fun, uh, 250 for 5 laps, 
I think it's a good deal and yeah, it's a great experience, so just do it.